a ship christening is always an exciting event, marking a major milestone in a new or repurposed ship's career. Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, named a number of iconic cruise ships and ocean liners throughout her life. In this video, we will look at some of the most famous. The Queen's link with liner launches began in the 1930s, when as a young princess, she was present at the 1934 launch of RMS Queen Mary. Later that decade, she joined her mother at the 1938 launch of Cunard's ocean liner RMS Queen Elizabeth. The ship was the largest liner ever built at the time, and was named by Queen Elizabeth, with both Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret in attendance. In 1947, the Queen, then Princess Elizabeth, launched Cunard's Coronia at the John Brown shipyard in Clydebank. This October event was her last major public engagement before her marriage to Prince Philip just over a month later. On the 17th of August 1954, Her Majesty named the Shore Savile liner Southern Cross. The Queen had actually been approached by the shipping line and had selected the name Southern Cross for the new ship. The following year in 1955, the Queen named and launched the Empress of Britain. The Canadian Pacific ship went on to serve for many years and actually ended up sailing as peace boat until 2008. Fast forward and on 20 September 1967, her Majesty launched the QE2. This major event was attended by large crowds, but also televised across the UK. At the naming ceremony, the Queen famously ignored the envelope containing the ship's name and named the ship Queen Elizabeth II. After a brief discussion with Buckingham Palace, it was agreed to use the Arabic 2 for the Cunard ship, helping distinguish the name of the ship. In 1995, P&O's newly completed Oriana was named by the Queen on the 6th of April. This ceremony took place alongside in Southampton and was a major media event, given that the ship was then the largest cruise ship built for the UK market and P&O's first major new build cruise ship in a generation. Just shy of a decade later, in January 2004, the Queen named Queen Mary II at a major event in Southampton. At the time, the QM2 was the world's largest passenger ship, clocking in at 151,400 gross tons. Unlike the launch of QE2, QM2 was complete and already wearing her name, having been built in France and having already been accepted by Cunard. The Queen returned to Southampton in 2010 to name the new Cunard Queen Elizabeth. This 90,000 tonne cruise ship was named in honour of the RMS Queen Elizabeth, with the ceremony taking place on 11 October 2010. Five years later, the Queen christened her last major cruise ship when she named P&O's Britannia on the 10th of March 2015. This ceremony was also undertaken at Southampton, while the ship was alongside at the Ocean Terminal. Her Majesty also named a number of other ships, including naval vessels such as the Royal Navy's HMS Queen Elizabeth in 2014. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found the video interesting. Have you sailed on any of the cruise ships or ocean liners that the Queen named? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks once again, and until next time, I hope to see you on board.